Hey everyone, I'm back with another budget planner review video. This is the Walmart budget planner. Y'all must really like learning about this planner or seeing how you can use it. Perhaps it's because it's super affordable and you can find it at your local Walmart. But my shorts on this planner were super popular. I believe it was last year. Yes, it was the start of 2022. I reviewed um, this planner. I just pick it up, picked it up by chance at my local Walmart and I decided to review it for you all. In all honesty, I did not actually use that planner for budget planning. I set it up, but it just wasn't functional enough for me to use day to day. Actually, let me take that back. This is a super functional planner. It just didn't fit my lifestyle. That's a better way to say it because I just have a lot of different expenses. I have three children. Um, also, I travel a lot for school. I have, you know, bills um, and all of that. So this just did not work for me. I don't have any pets. So this section just went unused. Um, the food, the groceries, just, you know, for me, it wasn't really my style. I'm more of a DIY budget planner also. So I struggled with it and I ended up not using it. However, I wanted to purchase another one to show you how this planner has evolved just because um, I saw a lot of comments on it. One of my subscribers left me a comment that this planner is more basic this time around and I would agree, even just looking at the cover, I already have fingerprints all over it. Um, the material is kind of, I don't even know how to describe it. It's not felt. I'm not sure. But I mean, it's overall a great, you know, pocket planner if you're looking for something for budgeting. So I'm not going to ramble on. I'm going to do a quick flip through of this planner. I will use it this year in 2024. <laughs> and I'm going to let you know how I'm going to use it going into the new year. But first things first, if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. My name is Debronetta and I love all things planning. Here on my channel, you'll find a mix of budget planning, life planning, business planning. I introduced a new faith planner or faith layout from Happy Planner. So you'll see some of that on my channel here as well, because that's going to be a huge part of my journey going into 2024. So I would love to welcome you to my YouTube family. All you have to do is hit subscribe. It is totally free. Also take a moment to go ahead and subscribe to my blog, careermomcommunity.com. I would love for you to be a part of that community as well. There's a lot of fun ways um, for us to engage going into 2024 as I develop a more intimate planning community of like-minded, purpose-driven women who love planning, who want to accomplish their goals and walk in purpose. So that's a little bit about me and why you should go ahead and hit subscribe. So this planner is um, just a budget planner. It has a yearly overview where you can chart out your months um, as well as your income, expenses, and savings. You can use this real time or you can pre-plan it as well. It's totally up to you. It also has some bullets for some financial goals. And then down at the bottom, of course, taxes, y'all. We can't get away from that. Um, and then this also has like yearly payments where you can identify different bills and different subscriptions that you have and you can write down the cost. I do think this is a great addition to any planner because each month I like to sit and think through like, what are my subscriptions? Are they still relevant? Do I still need them? Because sometimes we'll like sign up for a free trial and then before you know it, we are stuck in a monthly subscription and months and months can go bad before we even realize that $6.99 has been coming out of our <laughs> bank for months. So this is a good way to, to keep track of your subscriptions so that you're not getting like nickel and dimed um, throughout the year with stuff that you're not even using. And then this has like your yearly pay Payment. So you can account for things such as your car taxes or your property tax or anything that happens annually that you need to pay. The next section is an undated monthly chart or monthly grid. So you can fill this in um, with the month and the year. It is open for you. So even though I said this is a 2024 planner, you can pick this up, you know, and if it gets tossed into your planner bin, you can pick it back up at any point in time and start planning because it is undated. This section is for your monthly budget. You can write down your income, 
your source of income, your total income. You can have a note section, which comes in handy. Then there's a section for savings, debt. You can total up your food, your bills, and you can compare the budget versus the actuals, and you can look at the difference. For someone who is on a savings journey or a debt pay down journey, I am big on pen and paper planning. For me, it makes it more tangible. I do use spreadsheets. I have a comprehensive Excel spreadsheet where I track my um, financial goals as well. So I'm not discounting that, nor am I discounting any apps that you may be using. But there's something unique about pen and paper planning. It sticks with you. Um, it makes your goals more real, in my opinion. And just, you know, it's proven that when you write things down, you're more apt to remember it. So for me, I lean into that. Then you move into your monthly spending section. You have a spot for miscellaneous expenses and then your housing. So that's your rent, your electricity, television, and all the things. It does have like one or two you know, spaces for you to fill in what the expense is. So they went ahead in this planner and accounted for some of the general items. And then for children, there's childcare, tuition, I'm assuming that's like school fees, classes, meals, toys, school supplies, clothing. And each month, this is the same. And I think this comes in handy for like families. Um, although, like I said, I didn't end up using this particular planner um, personally for 2022. However, this does um, make sense, right? So activities, even though I have like three children, I have three different activities. So for me, it got a little weird to use this. We don't well, we do. I do use a sitter service every now and again. So this could have been used. But um. For me, it just got a little, you know, I had too much going on and it was more frustrating than, you know, practical for me to use. Then it has a section for clothing so that you can really track and understand where your money is going. Like I said, I don't have any pets, but if you have pets, this is a great way to, you know, track how much you're spending on um, your pets as well. Then you have a spending summary where you can go in and track every line item. I prefer to use spreadsheets just because it's more practical for me. I can go and export all of my line items in an Excel. I can pivot it to sum up everything. So it that makes more sense for me. All right, and then it rolls on into the next month. Y'all, my kids are in the background. <laughs> So you may hear them as well. But nonetheless, it rolls on to each particular month. And there are 12 in here. I believe it's 12. I didn't count, but I'm assuming that there are. And then we move into like your spend. This is the month spending summary. Hold on. Then we move into your debt tracker. So this comes in handy if you are looking to track your debt. Um, you can put down what the starting balances are, and then you can track how fast you are paying them down or at what appropriate rate you're paying them down. So this has four boxes. Again, for me, unfortunately, I have more than four outstanding debts right now um, when you account for like my tuition and just other things that I have going on. Um, but prayerfully, by mid-year, that'll be consolidated Um drastically or paid off rather not consolidated but nonetheless then you get into your monthly savings tracker where each month you can look at your goal and how much you deposited into your savings account and then this is just your weekly savings tracker so if you're interested in doing any um, particular cadence so that you can have a certain amount by the end of the year I know there's some um, formulas or methods that you can use to save like five thousand dollars by the end of the year or you know 10k by the end of the year whatever um, magic number you're aiming towards you can chart that out in this section so this was just a really quick overview of the Walmart budget planner. I wanted to flip through it in more detail with you all this year, just so that you can determine if this is something that you want to use. Again, it is super, super affordable and you can find it down at your local Walmart. So I went and grabbed the receipt for this planner and this is the Penning Gear small budget planner and it was only $2.88. I mean, you can't 
you can't beat that. And I think this is a great planner to kickstart your savings, your debt payoff goals. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can see what budget planner I will be using for 2024. This one, I'll figure out some way to use it for business expenses. It'll require me to repurpose it quite a bit. So I'm still on the fence about it, but I think this will be a great grab and go planner for me to use to track my business expenses each month. So that's how I plan to use this planner. Um, it probably won't get in rotation every single month just because I can like, you know, look ahead for, you know, two months at a time and plan out my business goals. But yeah, so my financial goals will be my revenue goals for my business. And then I also want to track my income or my revenue for my business, my expenses. And then this won't be per se savings, but it'll be um, like a P&L view for the business. So yeah, I hope that you found this video helpful. I'm excited to use this planner in that capacity. And for $2.88, you can't beat it. I will speak to you in the next video. Make sure that you hit subscribe, leave me a comment, and let me know what you thought about this planner. And if you have it in your collection, happy planning, y'all.